Voters go to the polls today in South Carolina to pick the Republican nominee for president. It is a tight and key race for the White House and national correspondent Dean Reynolds is in Charleston and Dean, good morning to you. Good morning, Rebecca. Well, since 1980, the winner of South Carolina's Republican Party primary has gone on to win the GOP nomination. So what happens today here at these polling places carries considerable weight. If you follow the polls, the race is up for grabs here. On the one hand, you have a resurgent Newt Gingrich. If every conservative in the state decided to vote for Newt Gingrich, we would win a shockingly big victory. On the other hand, there's Mitt Romney attempting to lower expectations in advance of what could be a painful night. I think I said from the very beginning, South Carolina is an uphill battle from a guy from Massachusetts. The two have battled in different ways, with Gingrich relying heavily on electrifying debate performances and Romney depending on an expensive ad campaign, including highly negative attacks on Gingrich from an unaffiliated group of supporters. Newt was fined $300,000 for ethics violations. Those so-called super PAC ads have been so dark and menacing, they've drawn fire from critics and comedians. Stephen Colbert has been running one here that accuses Romney of all sorts of transgressions. He's Mitt the Ripper. On Friday, Colbert campaigned for former candidate Herman Cain in a mocking salute to what this process has become. There are no chairs, partly for budgetary reasons, but mostly because I'll take a standing ovation any way I can get it. Mr. Colbert could not get on the ballot. I could not get off the ballot. And because Herman Cain is indeed still on the ballot, his candidacy here could really complicate things because he retains some popularity. And while the candidacy is considered a joke by the likes of Stephen Colbert, the joke could be on the Republican Party and the remaining legitimate candidates. Rebecca? Dean Reynolds in Charleston, South Carolina. Thanks, Dean.